altar for Anisha. Mama settles in the shadows. Her prayers curl through the ornate burglar bars, dance above the flat concrete roof, then dally over the gardens. The smell of a rotting dog in the dry gully, mingling with the sweet comfort of burning weed and jerking meat. The pepper, the pimento, the sugar. And Papa Leg's sound system shivers the dense clustering of mango leaves. And God knows the broken bottle path along Marcos Garvey's pock drive, up towards the mountains, into the narrow lane someone called the ghetto. This clustering of havens, from outside stoic, voiceless facades, but inside, like here, where Mama kneels in the shadow, a shelter of crotons, aloe vera, hibiscus, and garish rose bushes. This shelter, this temple, where an altar of gleaming bleach rum bottles stand in a circle on a cruciform platform raised above the earth, where an enamel pan of fresh rainwater strewn with petals, these quietly pristine bottles filled with water caught in the last rains. In this haven, Mama's voice carries high against the news, and someone is whispering to me, Father Holon, coming for you, baby girl. It's your time now. The priest in white with flaxen hair coming for you. It's your time now. My cocktail of bacon and rum. My cocktail of bleach and tar. My cleansing. My purging. My fire into this worthless soul. Eads are go kill me. Eads are go kill me. Poor mama. How tiny her voice wailing for mercy. Asking God, how come? How come? And me praying for my daughters. Mercy, mercy. Until the shadows come. <laughs>